Hey guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the farm. Yes, it's another farm trip. Not possibly the last couple, uh, maybe three. Probably just this one really to get a big load and maybe another one to organise. So this whole series is coming to an end. I've just got here. There's a car coming down the highway in a minute. Uh, the gate's closed. Let's go and have a look up the driveway and we'll do a slow drive up and see what it looks like. I haven't been here for a month. Okay, it was a pretty good drive over, just coming over on my own now. No one else will be staying here. I'll just camp here while I spend a couple of days packing the van, getting organised. You can see the gates across the drive are closed. It doesn't look like anyone's driven up here for a while. Now that there's no one living here, Ross accesses the property from uh, a lane across to the back road to his place. So uh, it's good to keep the gates open closed given that some of the, most of the locals probably know no one's living here and you don't want people sneaking up and having a look around you can see the remains of the storm damage we had about a month or a couple of months ago and uh, there's branches down everywhere I think the sheep are in the front paddock there we've got the scrap metal guy coming tomorrow and we've got my cousin coming to pick up uh, the safe and a lady's coming to pick up some other stuff lots going on in the next couple of days so we'll squeeze out a couple of videos at least possibly three Let's open the gates and drive up the driveway. Now you can see it's pretty dry around the district now. We're into well, almost mid-November, so um, summer is pretty much here and the farmers are all been busy out with their crops. A lot of them have started harvesting. I think Ross probably has, so he hasn't spent a lot of time over the farm uh, lately. There's the sheep in the paddock there behind the trees. It's pretty warm out today. Um, so yeah, uh, I know he has made some changes, I think the old chook shed's gone, as you saw in the last episode a lot of the garden area has been cleaned up, particularly around the back of the farmhouse, so things will change quite a bit now that um, there's hardly any stuff left here. This will be the last full van load, uh, I don't even know how full I'll get it, but uh, I'll certainly have to do another trip because there's some scrap metal and stuff to pick up and there'll be other stuff to sort out. We still have to get the ute and the trailer, tandem trailer back to Nagambi at some stage and Steve has to pick up his tractor. All right, so not much happens has happened here that I can see. Um, oh, there's the binder wheels. Ross was kind enough to get the wheels off the old binders down the lane that I'd given up on. Oh, look at the farmyard over there. There's no sheds anymore. Chook sheds have gone. A lot of the old timbers been cleaned up. Let's have a bit of a drive around here. All the tires have gone, except a couple there on, on rims. Yeah, that's where the old chook shed was. So the yard's looking very sparse, and of course, it's not green anymore. I think last time we here it was still green. So there's the old Chamberlain tractor that my son Steve's gonna pick up. Uh, there's a little trailer in there we've got to take back, and the Massey Ferguson tractor. I probably should contact the golf club. I think we've pretty well finished with it now. And the rest of the stuff in there is Ross's. And you can see that, yeah, the sheep have eaten the grass right down and there's pretty well no growth now. It's been quite dry, quite a dry spring. Uh, the crops out there, that looks like a crop of wheat or maybe barley, I think it's wheat. Looking pretty good, must be getting close to be being harvested. The silos stay with the property. Uh, there's the shed where the caravan was, so I've got to tidy that up this week and we'll have to sort out what to do with the uh, the um, little four-wheel vehicle there. The trailer I'm going to sell, although one of the other neighbours did express some interest in it, so I'll have to work that out. Uh, okay, but I'm, no one's been in the house since I was last here and I have to see if there was bees got in the house because there was a bit of a beehive in on the south side of the house and they were coming in when mum and I were here last so hopefully they've either gone or they're at least they're not in the house uh, okay all right I better park the van and go inside and light the fire because if I don't light the fire even though it's hot I have to light the kitchen stove otherwise there's no hot water all right that's great that Ross got those wheels off much appreciated mate um, I'll take them back to the Gambia probably in the tandem trailer and they will look great chained up outside the front of the shop uh, I think the last one of these I sold for $120. I might even go a little bit higher because I just can't get wheels anymore and they look good while they're chained up there. So the starting to look a bit dilapidated in here. I mean, they're basically packing stuff out of the van that I left here. Uh, there's some drums of scrap metal in there. 
but uh, when no one's here and the leaves build up and the twigs and it just kind of looks deserted, which essentially that's exactly what it is. A couple of milk crates, I'll probably need those. Uh, the ute's covered in spider webs again, but at least we put a new battery in it a few, a few episodes ago, so it should start. I've still got this Model T Ford axle in the back that was given to me. Uh, I'm going to take that back home for our garden, but that will probably be uh, one of the last things to go. When I'll have to load this trailer up with stuff that I want to take back, and uh, then someone can tow it back behind the ute. Uh, we'll get into the shed later. There's just the air compressor pretty much to get out of there, out of the workshop. Let's go inside. And there's, of course, the old uh, area that used to be the garden has been leveled out. There's some temporary sheep fencing up there to stop the sheep coming from the lane into the house yard. So that's all pretty well been leveled off. And there's not, gonna, not, not much going to grow this time of the year uh, unless we get quite a lot of summer rain, which we don't usually. Sometimes you get a storm or so. But the farmers won't want any rain now. They'll just want to um, harvest their crops and nice dry hot weather is probably ideal. Okay, doesn't look much different from on what I was last here. Now I think the gas has been turned off and I think the water pump power has been turned off so I'll have to turn those on. Got a little bit of firewood here, there's some over in the shed so I'll be able to light the fire. Let's have a look inside, hopefully the house isn't full of bees. Okay, no buzzing so far. There's probably going to be spider webs through everywhere. No one's been in the house since I was last here, and I think that was about a month ago. So, okay, I'm pretty much camping here. I'll just pack up the last of these things, but I'm going to leave some of the stuff here, including the fridge. That can stay here. It's not worth taking back. You can see dead bees on the carpet up here. I can't hear any. Not sure if the hive's still there or not. We'll have to go around and check. But there's certainly been lots of getting into the house. So there's not much to get out of the house. I have to get a couple of beds and the TV. I won't need that here. And just a few little extras lying around. We'll do a proper walk around to the house shortly. Those chairs will be going back home, but that table will probably stay here. So hardly anything to go out of the house, really. Just some little basics, but I'll leave you know the basics here. Perhaps just one tape, one chair, and um, and the fridge, of course, and the kettle for next time I'm home, and the toaster. So just some basics. All right, I better get this fire lit, or there'll be no hot water tonight. Oh, there's been a few palm branches fall down since I was last here. Just shows you when you don't, you know, keep the place neatly swept, it just deteriorates. Nature has a way of taking over. All right, better go and turn the power onto the water pump. Not sure what this other one does. Let's turn them both on. Oh, I think there's one over at the tank and then there's a pump here. All right. Um, I have to be a bit careful of snakes too. Ross said he's killed about three in the last week. Not so much around here because he hasn't been over here, but around his place. So it's a always a hazard in summer around these parts. Now, let's see if those bees are there. Ah, oh, yes, they are too. But I, they must have moved, I think. So the hive is further down here, or at least that's where they're going into the house. So definitely that's their landing spot. Can I zoom in anymore? Yep. So that's their main front door, which is fine. That's a long way away from the kitchen. I think last time I was here... They were down this area. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure if you'll be able to get this on camera, but there's a swallow's nest in there, just at the end of that rafter. So you wouldn't think the swallows would be nesting in a beehive, so uh, maybe the beehives moved. Maybe the swallows said, hey, this is our nesting site. You guys just waltz down the street a bit and get settled down there. So as long as they stay there, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind them out here. I don't really want to kill bees, but I don't want them in the house with me. All right, so 
hopefully that's crisis averted what's happening in the garden around here it will really be drying off with no water mum used to religiously water everything lemons everywhere but the tree is actually looking very dry yeah pretty overgrown and it'll gradually revert to just whatever can survive in the dry climate here some garden plants might kick on and survive but a lot will die uh, same with the trees i guess and of course this part of the garden is long gone even the lawns died off it's amazing i don't think i've ever seen this lawn dry we used to water this all the time okay well i better unpack the van and shortly after I got my gear organised out of the van, my cousins Julie and Paul turned up from Melbourne to take the safe home. It's nice that it's staying in the family. So we managed to move it across the workshop floor on heavy rollers. Uh, I did help, I didn't film all the time. And then Paul brought a, a pallet jack from his work. Once we got it onto that on its back, it was easy enough to manoeuvre. But getting it onto the trailer was a bit of a hassle. We reckon this safe probably weighs uh, 400 kilos or something it's certainly well made very heavy and very old so we managed to get on the trailer all strapped down it's certainly not going to blow out and uh, it's about to head back to melbourne to its new home now that that's done uh, we've just had about an hour of light rain there wasn't much in it but it's just really enough to set all the dust it certainly won't muck up our plans here and i've just been running around i've got the little four before going and picking up just the last of the scrap metal lying around the yard just messy bits and pieces i'm going to take them down the lane to the machinery graveyard uh, because the guy is coming in the morning to clean all that up and let's do one last drive by or a flyby uh, past the machinery graveyard we've got old headers and binders and lots of old farm machinery some frames of things a windmill frame i think more headers an auger body it's just constant old dead machinery and lots of bits and pieces including a couple of large headers so hopefully the guy will clean them all up tomorrow although i expect he might have to come back the next day as well okay it got quite humid out here the sun's been coming in and out and it's quite warm when it's out uh, a few more showers around but i think they're pretty well all gone behind me is the direction that they're heading so that's not coming this way so pretty good afternoon actually i only got here just before 12 and the safe's gone i hope julie and uh, paul made a a good safe trip back to melbourne with that on and i had rose a lady come and pick up some retro bedheads now rose was the lady that bought the two wardrobes quite a number of episodes back and she was in the area so i gave her the bedhead so that was great I've got all the scrap metal ready for the guy in the morning and it's only about 5 p.m. now. It'll still be light for a couple of hours. So I'm going to perhaps start getting organised to load the van. Um, I've taken a few photos of th other things around the yard, just some, you know, things I've got to finalise and I've thrown them on Facebook uh, just this afternoon. So uh, hopefully people can pick them up tomorrow. But yeah, we're really starting to tick things off the list. So we'll finish up this episode now. We'll do another one tomorrow. Of course, we'll show the scrappy with his ex excavator um, loading his truck. I won't sit down there all morning. I've got too much to do, but we'll give you a bit of footage of that. So catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.